Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here, and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. Now, first of all, I just want to apologise. I wasn't able to upload or stream over the weekend. Unfortunately, my girlfriend, Ellen, has been unwell, and yesterday I wasn't so good myself. But now it's Monday, and I'm ready to go. We've got some absolutely huge games on the way. Don't forget, we're really struggling in the Champions League, so... We have to win the next few games in the Champions League group stages. And we've got a game against Sunderland, which is a good chance for me to uh, to get back in the shape of things in the Premier League. By the way, what a game against Newcastle yesterday. I thought Sunderland were very lucky with that red card, but 3-0, that is absolutely crazy. But um, anyway, this is the team we're going to be using. I'm hoping Ben Zemmer can pick up some good form. He hasn't been so good, let's be honest. He's been a bit of a flop. And actually, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but he's been worse than Obama Yang. I mean, <laughs> I've been a little bit unlucky maybe. I don't know. We're going to turn things around. We've got Maitland Niles out on the right. We'll see how he gets on as well. And here we go. We have kickoff. Now, I should mention, guys, I am still playing on Legendary despite struggling recently. I don't want to give up on it. I want to make sure that I can play on Legendary and play good football. I mean, I know it's frustrating sometimes playing against the CP or Legendary. They pass it around a lot, but as long as I get wins, good results, I'll be happy. But we're off to a decent start here. Can Maitland Niles get through? No, we've got ourselves a throw, though. So, Maitland-Niles. Why have I played him ahead of Oxlade-Chamberlain, Theo Walcott, Gnabry, so many other players? Well, I just fancied giving him a go. I really like the look of him. He's got some fantastic stats, and why not? You know, we're up against Sunderland. They're not the strongest in the league, and we might get a chance here. Benzema's going to get in the box, hopefully. Oh, hang on. It's Maitland-Niles. Hits it. Oh, my God. Can you just imagine if he put that one in? Here's Coquelin. Ooh, threw into Ozil here. Over the top for Benzema. He's offside. He's just offside. He couldn't finish it anyway, right to Manone's feet there. Let's see how close this was. I'm guessing the defender just stepped up at the right time. I mean, look at that. If he didn't step up, I was onside. We go again. Up to Alexis Sanchez. We're going to run inside here. Go on, Benzema. This time, he's through. Come on, you've got to finish this. How has he saved that? And how has Alexis missed the rebound? Oh, my God. And there is half time. It's been one of those games so far. I've had all of the possession. I've had so many chances to score, but... It's FIFA 16. I can't score. Don't let him get the ball in. Don't let him get the ball in. No, it's Catamol. Oh, my God. Catamol almost scored against me. That would have been absolutely diabolical. Into Benzema with the driven pass. Now, Maitland-Niles needs to make a run up this right side. Fake shot inside. Oh, my God. It's worked. He's still going, and that's a penalty. Oh, you, you know what? How, how is that not a penalty? He does so well to cut inside with the fake shot. Actually, nutmegs the defender. And then this. Since when is this not a penalty, guys? None of the ball, and he takes him out. It's bullshit. Here's Maitland Nars again. Through to Meza Urzil. This is surely a chance for us to score. Into the box for Benzema, and he's somehow been beaten to it by Quartes. There's only two minutes of added time. Have I got time to get another chance? Please let me play on, ref. Oh, for God's sake, a nil-nil against Sunderland. I can't believe this. It's just ridiculous, man. We'll do some training now. Let's see if we get any growth. Look at that. Maitland-Niles has gone up in all four stats, but it's not enough to get him to 71 rated. But now, guys, it's time for the big one. We're halfway through the group stages, and our next game is absolutely vital. We've got Milan versus PSV. So first versus second. I'm really hoping that Milan will win that game, and then they will finish top. That's fine by me. I hope they do win the game, because then if I can beat FC Michelin, or whatever they're called... I will then hopefully go up into second place for the rest of the group stages and just qualify. It is a home game and therefore I should definitely be winning this one. We've gone with pretty much the same team except from Kazola and Wilshire are in the middle this time. And Oxlade-Chamberlain comes back in at right wing. Come on, let's get a win. I'm on ultra attack. I'm on high pressure. Team pressing. I'm doing everything I can to just hassle them. And just, just, just win the game. That's all I need to do. Not a good start though. They're coming down this left side. Oh my god, that's not good. His Sisto. Oh my god. Oh my god, they've hit the bar. Holy shit. This has been absolutely terrible so far. Are you kidding me? He's offside. Thank god for that. He's offside. They've actually scored, but it is. It's not going to count. Thank god for that. Right, we've got some good space here. Here goes Wilshire. Cut inside here. This is very good. Through to Benzema. Is he going to score? No. He's not going to score. He's going to hit the post. I can't deal with this, man. This is just so. Freaking annoying. It's Benzema. Turn him. Inside to Ozil. Back to Benzema. He's having a much better game today. Go on. Smack it in. For God's sake, the keeper. Just, just let one in for me. Yes, this is so much more like it. We're playing such better football. It's a lovely pass over to Oxlade-Chamberlain. 
through to Benzema. He's got to score this one. Nope, but Oxley chamberlain will. Yes! God, the freaking pressure is off right now. Oh, we're playing so much better right now. How is Benzema not scoring, though? He's getting all of these chances, but I don't care. As long as we win games. It's a really nice pass into Benzema. It's not a bad shot. The keeper just makes a good save, but no chance on the Oxley chamberlain rebound. 44 minutes in. We've taken the lead just before half-time. It couldn't be better timing. I mean, look at the half-time stats. They are absolutely dominating me on possession, and half of it is in their own half when they're just passing it around between their defenders. But again, I just don't care. We've had five shots on target. We've scored the only goal of the game. We're winning. That's all that matters. Oh, go on. Get that Bellerin. Yes, just like against Bayern Munich, that was. Here we go. Here goes Oxlade chamberlain Let's get the ball in the box. Drive it across. Oh, it was a good ball, but the defender saw it come in. Here goes Monreal. Oh, lovely play from Monreal here. Over to Alexis. Get that ball in. What a ball that is to Benzema. Oh, my God. That would have been absolutely stunning. Right, OK. We're making three changes, including Benzema, who I want to say has had a very good game. Just hasn't scored. Theo Walcott's going up front instead. We've got Ramsey coming on and Gabriel as well in defence. Might be in trouble here. I actually might be in trouble. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sisto is a freaking genius man but he's hit the bar thankfully that was too close for comfort yes we've done it we've done it we've got three points when we most needed it i will take that it was an absolutely terribly frustrating game once again but it again it just doesn't matter as long as we get the results and there we have it guys let's see if piers v have lost please 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 yes right milan the third result from the bottom one nil against psv that's huge for us what a difference. Look at that. We are now in second place. We've scored one and conceded two, but somehow got five points. It's absolutely ridiculous. But there you go, guys. Again, as long as I'm getting results, I will take it. And because of that last result, we've, we've moved up two places, which is absolutely fantastic. So all we need to do now is not lose any of the other games and get a big win against Milan. And who knows what's going to happen. Maybe we'll actually qualify in first. But um, up now, it's Newcastle at home. And here is the league table, and as you can see, we're not having any problems in the Premier League. We are three points clear, and we have a game in hand, so technically I could afford to lose two games. But obviously, we want to keep the winning going in the Premier League. Straight away, we have a free kick in a brilliant position here. Look, look, the wall, the wall nudged forward. It's in front of the line. How dare they? But we're going to take the free kick now. Come on, Kazola. It's a good one, but Crawl is equal to it. It's a very good save. And now the corner comes in. It's not a very good one. Oh, can I win that header? Oh, hang on. That could have been a penalty if he wasn't careful. It's Cazorla again. Let's get it back in. It's a good ball to Schuller. And how has he not scored? Yes, Oxlade. Fantastic tackle. Ozil's in the box. It's a good ball. Krul has got there. The rebound is out to Alexis. Hit it. Oh, it's just deflected there. We're getting there, guys. The goal is coming. Come on, son. Inside. Oh, it's brilliant. He's taking him on. Over here to Benzema. He's going to finish it, surely. There we go. Benzema gets his goal. It's about freaking time, but it's all about Alexis Sanchez down that left wing. There's so much space for Benzema, and it's an easy finish. I think we could actually score a few goals in this game. Newcastle don't look very good. He's lost it out to Bellerin. Is that going to be half time? It is. What a performance so far, guys. We've defended well, and we've scored a goal in the first half for the first time in ages. I can't remember the last time I scored in the first half, and it was that guy, finally. Things seem to have slowed down a little bit in this second half. It's like Newcastle are defending a bit more, so maybe they're playing on... Ultra defensive, something like that. But I will still break through, mark my words. Here goes Ozil. I see Benzema. Almost got it through to him. Actually, it's kind of worked out for me, this. Look at this, still going. Oh, go on. Ozil, carry on. He's going through. Finesse it. Oh, my God. It worked. The pass that didn't go through actually helped me. I was able just to continue the run with him. Do a little one-two here with Oxlade Chamberlain. And the finish is just superb from Ozil. Right into the corner. Oh, yes, Bellerin, well played. Here goes Ozil now. Up to Benzema. He's having such a better game. Look at this. He's through on goal here. Can he score his second of the game? Near post? Of course he can. In those kind of positions, you really should be scoring with an 88-rated striker. And finally, we get one just like it. I've missed a lot of chances like that with him. But this, this was always going to go in. I'm really feeling it in this match. We've turned things around a little bit. And that's a really nice goal. Oh, what a ball that is from Ozil. This is ridiculous. Why can't I play like this every game? Here goes Alexis Sanchez. Find a cross. Oh, I was looking for Benzema. I was being unselfish. It is 3-0 after all. 
I mean, may maybe I'm okay on Legendary. Maybe I just have off games and good games like this. Oh my god, that wasn't even me, because Shelny is just... Why? Why now? Why is this happening now? When the ball came in, I was controlling Shula, and it switched to Koscielny and headed it for me. I didn't do that. Oh, I can't believe this. 4-0. When was the last time I scored four in a game? I can't remember. I can't. This has been the best game since I think maybe I got the game. Honestly, I've been just so lucky. Oh, wait. Is Ozil injured? Oh, that's going to ruin it. That's going to absolutely ruin it. A 4-0 result, but... Ozil is, well, he looks like he's picked up an injury towards the end there. Well, I haven't received an email, so apparently Ozil's absolutely fine. So it really was the perfect result and the perfect game. I'm so happy that he hasn't been injured. And that, guys, is the end of the episode. Once again, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to get any uploads over the weekend, but I'm back. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a little bit tired after that. I don't normally feel that tired after recording for an hour or so, but I just need to rest up a little bit more. But there will be a video tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, it's been an okay one. We got two very good results in the last two games. Although the nil-nil draw at the start was just so frustrating. But overall, I'm happy and I think we're making progress. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out my official store, shop.officialmgh.com. There's some shirts and jumpers there. And soon, we're going to have some hats. So please do check it out. I've also got a custom white and a custom black controller, just like this, in the description. If you want to go and get your hands on one of these absolutely beautiful i absolutely love the black one specifically don't forget to leave a like rating and subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you in the next episode